So hello today, we're starting in this uh, recording of salt graph exercises. So we are in exercise one, so picking up sticks. So it's a very well known uh, game. So we have uh, multiple uh, sticks with multiple colors, so on top of each other. And I need to pick one stick without moving any other sticks beneath that uh, stick. So uh, the player, uh, as it's uh, written here, so we have n sticks, and sticks are numbers from one to this big number and the input is followed by M line where each line is a pair of A and B indicating that state A is on top of uh, stick B so we need so we have uh, this uh, scheme and we want to know the order of which we can pick the sticks if it's possible if it's not uh, so we need to uh, print the word impossible so it's very easy so we have an order so most probably we need to uh, use the topological sort so we need also to represent these sticks as a graph so it's very easy since we have uh, relationships between the sticks so we can uh, do uh, uh, represent the graph using the sticks so the sticks are the vertices and the relation on top of each other is the edges so let's uh, uh, review the topological sort so if we have for example a graph like this Let's say that this is a uh, vertex 0, 1, 2, 3, and we have those uh, edges. So let's we first uh, calculate the n degree of each uh, vertex. So for vertex 0, so there's nothing n to 0, so it's equal to 0. For vertex 1, so there's just 1. For vertex 2, let me resize a bit, it's equal to uh, 2. We have this one and this one, and for vertex 3, again, it's equal to 2. So what we will do is that we will use a queue, and in the queue, we will enqueue d uh, vertices of uh, n degree equal to 0. So here we will enqueue 0, and then we will loop over the queue. So we'll take the front and dequeue the element and decrease the uh, uh, vertices that are adjacent to 0. So here we have just 1, 2, and 3. So we'll decrease those values then we'll check uh, if uh, some of these is equal to zero so yes one here is equal to zero the n degree of one equal to zero so i'll enqueue it and again i will loop over the queue so i'll uh, dequeue this one and i'll decrease the adjacent vertices so the adjacent vertices are two and three so i'll decrease zero and zero now i will enqueue two and three then there's n n two it doesn't have any outgoing edges so nothing to do and three nothing to do so the order will be zero one two three so this is one possibility since we have all here two zeros so the other possibility is zero one three two so we don't have one uh, topological sort so because there is no hamiltonian circuit however there is no cycle so there is a topological sort so uh, in some uh, situations where we have uh, a cycle so we cannot have a topological sort so what I uh, would do, how do I solve this problem? So I have just copied the uh, implementation of a topological sort, so you can find it online. I will, you can find in the description of the video the link for uh, the code also. So what I will do is that I will modify the code in order to uh, work with our requirements. So let's start from main. So in main we have a test, and in test we are creating the adjacency matrix, and then we are calling the topological sort. So let's see what we have in adjacency matrix. So we have a graph, let's go up and see what's a graph. So graph, it contains V and E and a two-dimensional uh, array. So they are here, we are asked to enter the number of vertices and edges. So in the input, we are asked to enter N and M, where N is the uh, number of edges and uh, two is the line. So the, so, oh, sorry, the N is the vertices and M is the edges. So it's here, however, we need just to uh, modify the printf, so enter n and m. So the first one is the number of vertices, and the second one is the number of edges. So then we are allocating the two-dimensional array. However, here uh, the vertices are numbered from 1 and not from 0, so we need just to modify. So I will uh, skip the index 0, and for that I will try to allocate not v, uh, array v arrays or a two dimensional array of dimension v, I will uh, allocate a v plus one uh, dimension of the array. 
so it's v plus 1 multiple v plus 1 so that uh, we can uh, this is right wrong here so in in order to start from 1 so we'll skip the index 0 so here again so we don't have the 0 as if we have a colon and row so let me just draw here something so what I have done is that since we don't have the vertex 0 and in the two-dimensional array we have the index 0 1 2 till n n minus 1 in our uh, in, in the, uh, the usual case so what I have done is that I have added one uh, colon and one row for the vertex n and have discarded the zero so it's allocated but I will not use it so that I don't convert the uh, number of uh, vertices from n to n minus one and stuff like that so here it will remain the same so if uh, first we will uh, place zero in uh, the adjacency matrix and then I need to enter the m uh, the m line so here I will just print it once so enter m line so m it's like that and we print the m so here we need to scan it's right the u and v since it's directed so we don't need this and we will put one in uv however here also i will start from one and it's equal to the number of edges so we can start from zero to less the same because we don't we are not using the the adjacency matrix here so this is for the adjacency matrix we just modified the, this little trick so we started from one and allocated the one one element more in each uh, array so for the topological sort so of course we need a q in order to include the uh, vertices of in degrees equal to zero we need an in degree we need the topological order to output the order the counter to check if there's a cycle and v and w just counters so first the in degree so here again i will allocate an array of v plus one for the in degrees and i will start from one till equal the number of vertices and i place and degree of v equal to zero then we need to traverse so here we traverse from one and from the one till equal and equal and we check if there's an adjacency and we calculate here the in degrees after calculating the in degrees we'll create a queue we'll create the topological order queue and we'll start the counter so we count uh, the elements uh, in the uh, topological source so at the end it should be equal to the number of vertices here we are enqueuing the in degrees which are equal to zero so i'll start from one till equal and if in degree of v equal to zero we'll enqueue the element then we are looping over the queue we are dequeuing we are enqueuing the element in the topological order and then we are seeing the adjacent vertices so we are starting from one till arrow v and if we are dequeuing uh, decreasing the in degree of the adjacent ones and if it's equal to zero i will include the element in the uh, queue at the end after finishing we check the counter if it's equal it's not equal to the number of vertices so here we need to print impossible and after that if it's not impossible we loop over the topological uh, queue and we print the element one at a line so it's like that Let's, so here in, in the tutorials point we need to enter the uh, values here so we don't continue, continuously enter these elements so we should enter 3 and 2 so those are the scan f and then we have 1, 2, 2, 3 and then sorry 1, 2, 3 now this is the output the one two three here it's the out so the, it's the order so let's see we have n here let's check so it should be enter the line oh it's, it's it's not like that it's not n it's it's the number of uh, edges 
and we need to rect rectify here it's, it was zero so it's, it should be one and uh, the equals so we don't forget uh, these two so let's run so yes we have one two three I don't know why there's a space here so there should be there should be a space maybe it's from the the the, the enter from the input so yes it's one two three let's check the other uh, example so we have five seven and then we have one two five four five two one three five one four five and 3 1 so here there should be a cycle so yes there's an impossible so this is for the exercise uh, if you have any questions do not hesitate to write to me and i'll try to answer you back and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all notification and thanks for watching